It's time for an Evergoods Panel Loader Classic review. And this bag's been getting a lot of hype in a lot of backpack communities. Does it stand up to the hype? Is it worth the $180 price tag? And can it fit everything that you need for your everyday carry? That's exactly what this review is gonna cover and be sure to stick around to the end where we cover the overall pros and cons so you can know whether or not the Evergoods Panel Loader Classic is the bag for you. Okay, first up, let's talk about the gist of the Evergoods Panel Loader Classic 20 liter. First up is the size, it's 20 liters, which in my opinion is perfect for everyday carry. It gives you enough space to really pack the bag out while never feeling too bulky. We got some premium materials, both on the outside and the inside. We'll cover that in the next two sections. The aesthetic is quite sexy, I think. Like, kind of look how we got this little curvaceous figure going on. Damn, girl. Overall, it's fairly minimalist. Got some decent organization in the main compartment, including some tech gear on the back panel. And the tech compartment is advertised to fit up to a 17-inch laptop. And you got a pocket here, pocket here, and that's it. It should be noted it comes in two colors. You got black and my preference, the navy. It weighs 2.5 pounds, which I think is a pretty good weight for an everyday carry. And as I mentioned, the price tag comes in currently at around 180 US dollars. Hey guys, I want to interrupt this review real quick to tell you about something freaking awesome that we're doing on Nomads Nation. You see, obviously on this channel, we love backpacks. And I thought to myself, Aaron, why don't we make our own backpack? And that's exactly what we're doing. Not only though, are we making our own backpack, we are documenting the entire process on the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. So if that interests you, what I recommend you doing is going down in the description to the second link. And that link will bring you to our email list, AKA our inner circle. If you're a part of the inner circle, which is totally free by the way, you get to not only get behind the scenes content about the development, the design, the prototyping of the pack, but you also, get to vote on some of the key features. It's some next level transparency. I couldn't be more excited about the project and I hope to see you in the email list. Second link in the description, go check it out. Okay, let's talk about the front of the Evergoods Panel Loader Classic 20 liter. First up, the material. Now this is a different choice in materials for Evergoods. Normally their materials and the build of their backpacks are a little bit more like rugged. But this time they got the sexier sort of physique and they're going with like a sexier, more urban material. This is 1680 ballistic nylon. And the navy in particular has got a little bit of a shine to it, right? A little bit of panache. I love this material. 1680 ballistic nylon is it's very smooth, yet sexy, yet also really durable and robust at the same time. And it just gives it a really nice aesthetic. Evergoods gives you a little spot for a patch right here. Patches not included. We've got a little cut right here. There's no pocket or anything. It's more just for like functionality, like with the sewing. Adds a little aesthetic element as well by just adding another dimension right there. And really the last thing to talk about with the front is this pocket, which is quite a cool pocket. Let me show you why. Because you think like, oh, it's a nice little pocket, right? I'll put my sunglasses in there. It's a little pocket. Uh-uh. This is a monster pocket. This front pocket goes all the way down yonder. And not just is it long, but it's, it's, it's fat. A lot of these front compartments are just sort of designed for small tidbits of gear, wallet, keys, but Evergood's like, no. You wanna shove a camera cube in there and zip it shut with room to spare? You can. So I think this pocket's kind of fun. There's a lot that you can do with it. It's very versatile, but it should be noted there's no additional internal organization. There's no pockets within pockets. It's just a big old canyon. You throw your stuff in there, whether it's a camera cube, water bottle, jacket, just toss it in there, zip it up, on with your day. I do like that Evergoods made this material a light brown color, light brown, light gray color. I was close, brown, gray. And what that color does is it helps to create a highlight effect, which just makes it a little bit easier to find your stuff, especially the stuff that falls to the bottom. With the zippers too, love these zippers. Super, super high quality zips. These are YKK. What size are you, a six, eight? The poles might come across as like, I don't know. At first I'm like, those are kind of cheap looking, but they give a little quirkiness to the bag. It adds a little bit of fun, I think. And there's a great functionality with these poles too. That knot right there just gives you a little extra grip, which makes it easier to open and to close all the compartments in the Evergoods Panel Loader Classic 20 liter. That's a mouthful. All right, let's talk about the middle. First up, something that's gonna piss a lot of y'all off out there. There are no water bottle holders on the sides. In fact, there's no anything on the sides. It's sleek, it's clean, 
and it's water bottle holder less. Now the pros to this are that it gives the bag a more streamlined feel. Sometimes the water bottles are clunky on the side or if they're empty, the pockets are hanging, you can catch them on shit. But on the cons, it's like you want quick access to your water bottle. And if you carry a water bottle, you don't necessarily want to put it in your main compartment where your laptop is, right? Therefore compromising the security of your electronic gear. So that's why I do like this larger front pocket. Because obviously if it can fit a camera cube, it can fit a water bottle. It's gonna be a great and seamless sort of travel experience with it, but no water bottle holder on the side will be a deal breaker for some of you out there. Before we get into the main compartment, we got a top handle right here. Not really much padding going on. I would have meant to see, maybe just like a little extra padding there, but got a little plastic panel in there, helps to give it some shape, easy to grab, nice space for the hand. It's a good top handle. And then we have the top pocket right here, as opposed to the front pocket, which is super deep and beefy. This is just a little guy. Not a lot of space going on here. This is your small storage area. I'm gonna throw my shades up top here, no question. And then keys in the key ring holder, right there. The key holder is a pretty basic G-hook solution right here. I like the red color, it helps to give it a little pop. And yet again, the gray, not brown, color of the interior materials helps to create a highlight effect in this compartment. Now let's get into the main compartment. So we got these two chunky YKK zips right here. What are these, like number? 50, no, they're number 10s, I bet. Number 10, super chunky, super durable. And notice this does not have like a PU coated zipper line, which means like polyurethane coated, which means like weather resistant, but worry not. This is actually sprayed with the DWR coating, which means that it is water resistant. Pretty easy opening experience. You can go ahead actually, wow, do one of those. Opens pretty easy. And now we're in the main compartment. So we have the front side of the main compartment and the back side. Let's start with the front. Cool little Evergoods patch right there. It tells you a bit of information about your backpack. We have a top pocket right here. Pretty simple pocket, no additional organization. This is a good spot, me thinks, for something like a backup cache or maybe your wallet, right? It's things that you just want a little extra protection with. Further down south, we've got the two mesh pockets. The mesh isn't my favorite mesh. I usually prefer a mesh that's a little bit more elastic-y. This is a little bit sharper. It's like you can cut glass with this kind of mesh. But what I do like is what Evergoods did with their divider right here. I believe on their last backpack, they just had one solid mesh pocket section. But this time they're like, we gonna split you in two. And it just helps to give you a little bit more organization. And what I like about these pockets is that when you're trying to access this stuff while not wearing the bag, you know, you're at the office, you just want to grab something real fast. You don't have to open the whole bag to do it. You just sort of unzip, unzip, grab what you do, re-zip, re-zip, done. And finally, let's talk about the back compartment, which is kind of like a tech workspace compartment. We've got two sections. We've got the front section with this material right here and the back section, which is the laptop section. This material, oh, I love it. I mean, look at that stretchiness, that elasticity, and you can't feel it, but can you see the satisfaction? on this face. It's just really nice material. It's super soft and super smooth. This is a compartment where I'd put a tablet if I owned one, but since I don't, this is where my moleskin notebook will be going. And right next to it will be its dandy little friend pen companion. Because that's the perfect spot for a pen. Finally, the laptop compartment. Advertised as being big enough for a 17 inch laptop. Love the padding on this part right here. Hear that? That's the sound of your laptop being extra safe and secure. And then on the back side, we also have some decent padding. You'll see actually right here, we got a Velcro little compartment that leads you to this. That's the back panel, right? Helps to give your backpack a little bit of, you know, just helps it stand straight. It's not as like flimsy. But that panel also acts as another layer of protection for your laptop. So you got protection here, protection there, knock, knock laptops safely in between. And one awesome final note about this laptop compartment is the fact that it has a false bottom. What is that, might you ask? Allow me to edumacate you. A false bottom means you see this laptop compartment ends right here, even though the bottom of the bag is about an inch below it. And that means that if you're like me, a little on the careless or reckless or rambunctious side, and you drop your backpack, your laptop is suspended, which means it's less likely to get damaged. It's like having an insurance plan. Ultimately, I'm a huge fan of this tech compartment because it gives you durability and accessibility, which means that you can just stay on top of your work life. And talking about staying on top of things, if you like backpacks and travel gear, and you wanna stay on top of the current trends and know what best products are coming out, be sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified anytime we come out with a new review. Thank you so much.
And one last thing to note about this main compartment is the opening and closing of it, is you got these little pull tabs right here, right? These aren't just little like, woo, decorations. They actually have a functional significance as well. And you go ahead and hold this here, pull that there, and it makes closing the bag significantly easier. Let's talk about the back of the Evergoods Panel Loader Classic 20 liter. Let's start by talking about these shoulder straps. Love what's happening with these really just nice cushiony experience. For reference, I'm somebody who likes shoulder straps that are a little bit on the softer side. There's a lot of backpack companies out there that make super coarse shoulder straps. I like mine to be just a more cloud-like experience. And these are nice, but they got a firmness to them too. They're not like super soft and cloudy. We got a sternum strap right here. Sternum straps are great to help sort of take some of the weight off your back and redistribute it closer to like your torso. This sternum strap is great because it is adjustable. So if you want your sternum strap not here and you want it to go up here, that can be done. The hardware is top notch, made by Flexfold. So it's gonna be durable, stand the test of time. But one thing that just kind of irks me about not just this bag, but a lot of bags in this price range is, well, I like my sternum strap when I'm wearing it to be nice and tight. Like yay, right? And then you see this right here? See this little dangle chode nightmare of an excess nylon that's just chilling on my chest? I hate this. For these guys right here, also sort of flopping around yet again, there should be a little dangle stopper right here, otherwise known as a nylon holder, I think, professionally. And then that would just make it a nice, clean, tight, seamless sort of travel experience. And I feel like that would be in line with what this bag is trying to be, like super streamlined, right? Like I'm moving like a freaking jet with this backpack on. Nothing weighing me down here, nothing weighing me down there. But yeah, I got these dudes just doing dangly things. Not my favorite. And it should be noted that if you don't like sternum straps, you can take this guy off, but it is a little bit challenging to figure out how to do, but you'll figure it out. I believe in you. Let's talk back panel. Back panels are freaking crucial to comfort, especially in a backpack at this price range, right? We're talking about 180 USD. For 180 USD, I want this bag to be like next level comfortable. And for that to happen, we need two things. We need padding for a softer experience on our backs, and we need ventilation for breathability. This bag has both. As you can see right here, we've got the padding. This is like diagonal pads right there. It's got a cool aesthetic to it. I've never seen this before. Stitching's pretty nice. This is like a ripstop polyester. It's also got a nice little shine to it. So then it's kind of cool. You've got two different materials that are playing off of each other. I just like that aesthetically. You've got the 1680 ballistic nylon, and then this ripstop polyester. They just work really nicely off of each other. It's your beautiful bag. You're beautiful. And then for the ventilation, this is not gonna be the most ventilated bag. You just got these little cuts right there, but it's definitely better than nothing. It helps give your back a little bit extra ventilation, a little bit extra breathing power, and that little bit goes a long way. Let's talk the overall pros and the overall cons of the Evergoods Panel Loader Classic 20 liter. Pro number one, it's a sexy looking bag. Pro number two, really love what's going on in this main compartment with the organization of these pockets here, as well as the accessibility of those pockets. When the bag's sitting down, you can grab your stuff quite easily. And pro number three, I'm a big fan of the comforts. These shoulder straps are great and the back panel will absolutely get the job done. But cons, I got a few. Con number one, lack of a water bottle on the sides. It's not a deal breaker for me, but I definitely prefer a backpack that has water bottle access on the sides. Con number two is it doesn't really stand up by itself unless it's fully loaded in a perfect way. And I just, my EDC, like I need it to stand up by itself. I don't need it to, but like, it's really important to me. And finally, these zipper poles, they just look a little cheap to me. I think that they worked better on the last backpack that I reviewed, the Evergoods CPL24. The vibe was better with the material, but these with this material, this seems like really nice materials and this just kind of seems like a cheap afterthought. I would have liked to have seen something different with the zipper poles. They're functional, but they just don't seem to fit the vibe. So if you're still watching this review and you're thinking to yourself, Evergoods Panel Classic Loader, Let's make this thing official and you're gonna make a purchase. We do ask that you use the first link in the description. That link makes sure that you get the best price on the Evergoods Classic Panel Loader. And it also helps to support our Nomads Nation YouTube channel. Thank you so much. But let's say you're not sold. You're like, no, I thought I was sold on this, but Aaron, you talked me out of it. If that's the case, then let me offer a few alternative recommendations for you for backpacks that I think are close, but might fit you a little bit better. 
My first alternative recommendation is gonna be the Evergood CPL24. If you're digging the classic panel loader, but it's just not perfect for you and you wanna see other great Evergoods, not Evergoods, Evergreat packs, then the CPL24 is awesome. It's a little bit more rugged, a little bit bigger, and has a bit more organization. To watch our full Evergood CPL24 leader review, take a look in the description below for a link to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Air Day Pack 2. This backpack's for you if you're like, dude, I love those urban vibes. That ballistic nylon is hitting the spot for me, but I don't know, just one or two things that I wanted in this bag that it doesn't have, like maybe a water bottle holder on the side that's accessible. If that sounds like you, you're definitely gonna wanna check out the Air Day Pack 2. Check out the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. And alternative recommendation number three is gonna be for you. If you're really digging most of what the Evergoods Panel Loader Classic has to offer, but you want a similar bag that can also dub as like a work bag and an adventure bag. If that's the case, I think a better choice would be the Manal Daily Carry 3.0. It's extremely versatile. It's like a mini desk that you can take around the world with you. It's great for an everyday carry and it can be brought on adventures as well. To learn more about the Manal Daily Bag 3.0, take a look right down there and you'll find a link to our full review. Thank you for watching our Evergoods Panel Loader Classic review. If you're still here and you found this review useful, the best way to just show us a little bit of love is just to hit the like button. By doing that, you're letting us and the YouTube robots know that we're doing a good job. Also, let us know in the comments below, is the lack of a water bottle holder on the side a deal breaker for you? Do you also wish that your everyday carry backpack would stand up by itself? And do you own this bag? How's your experience been so far? Please let us know in the comments below. I personally respond to every comment myself. I'm Aaron, this is Nomads Nation, and we'll see you next time. Oh my God. The studio's falling apart. Ready? Say action. I love that. Okay. Thank you for watching our Panel Goods Ever Goods Panel Loader Classic.